Hey guys, this is Mandy. Um, I am coming at you today. Um, it is Thursday, October 22nd. Um, I have had <clears throat> a really busy past week. Um, last Thursday uh, was the beginning of OH, um, which is, was super fun. Um, I got to see a lot of my friends that I haven't seen since last December at the Nashville meet and greet. Also, I got to meet a lot of people that I have just seen on YouTube or um, through my weight loss surgery friendly Facebook page. So that was really cool. Um, it was uh, it was a really good time. There were some things that kind of surprised me uh, in good ways and bad. Um, I loved all the free stuff that I got. Um, let's just say uh, there were some emotional moments for me. Um, there was actually a bariatric surgeon there um, in Mexico that I walked up to and basically was ex kind of explaining to him my situation and I just started boohooing. Um, <laughs> so, you know, that was fun to cry in front of people. Um, but uh, we were there, we got to support Pam or Candy Pants and her talk. Um, I just got to spend some really good quality time with my friends um, and I truly felt like I needed it and um, I was so glad I had the opportunity to do that and it was in the city that I go work in once a month so um, it was a lot of fun I got to drink free alcoholic beverages at happy hour I got to make friends with strangers um, <laughs> and um, it was just an all-around really good time um, so since OH and getting back to Northern Virginia um, on Monday, I had an appointment at Walter Reed Hospital for my swallow test. Um, <clears throat> just to give you a little bit about that, um, the head bariatric um, surgeon for the hospital is the guy who's been working with me. Um, and when I went to do the barium swallow, I felt like a lab rat, like there was at least 10 people in the in the room behind the glass. There was two guys on the outside or in the room with me when I was getting ready to do all the swallowing and turning and flipping and whatnot. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, there was a lot of really important people in there. And I knew as soon as I did the first thing, I could see, like, the screen and then I could see... Um, the people who were in that glass room and all of a sudden you knew something popped up on the screen because they all stopped talking and they all lunged forward and were like pointing and stuff so I was like this is bad <laughs> like that's what I'm telling myself <clears throat> and the poor little fellow in the room with me like I could see the screen and I kept going is that my boob what is that is that my boob <laughs> and he wouldn't say anything and then finally the other guy that was in there was like no your breast tissues up here and I was going well what is that <clears throat> so after every, everything was done, I apologize about this. <clears throat> I um, got down off the platform and the head radiologist and the head of the um, general surgery bariatric were explaining to me what I saw. And when I saw it, I started boohooing. And when I started doing that, all the guys scattered like rats. I'm going to show you guys um what my swallow test looked like and i know that this is on my cell phone but this is the best i can do to show you okay so this top picture um shows that i have a remnant fundal pouch at the top um in the middle is supposed to be my sleeve and then at the bottom is an atrium of the stomach. So basically what it is is I have a pouch at the top that fills up. And then off to the side, let's see, it has to fill halfway before it gets to that little point. And then it's like a diving board or a waterfall to where it comes down on my sleeve and then falls into what they call the atrium of the stomach. So I have a large pouch up top. Then my sleeve, which this has to fill halfway up before it can come down and hit the bottom of my stomach. 
And here on the bottom is a second view of the top portion that fills up. This portion here is the sleeve. And then down around here, which you can't see really well, is this second part of my stomach. So, needless to say, my surgery was not done correctly. Um, and all the issues of my reflux at night uh, is due to that top portion feeling, you know, being full. And if it doesn't get out, then I reflux it at night. And I'm starting to have issues with my voice because my um, my throat is getting starting to burn some. So um, there's a lot that I could say about that. Um, and right now I'm not going to. Um, just because it'd probably be in my better interest not to. Um, you can see in the pictures where the suture line for the sleeve was not brought all the way to the top like it was supposed to. Um, why I have a top portion and a bottom portion, I have no idea. Um, and um, according to this doctor, the only way to fix it and to fix the part that's burning in my chest all the time is to have surgery. Um, and after talking to the guy at OH and then, you know, talking to the people that did my swallow test, um, the only way that they can fix it is to convert me into a ruin Y gastric bypass. Um, I did not want gastric bypass, but at the point that I'm right now and how I feel, I really am just kind of like, I really don't have a choice. Um. Some of my nurse friends, uh, Gracie Noah and Stop and Me and Sherry, um, have been really good support because they ask me questions that I don't think of at the time because every time I've seen this doctor, I've been <laughs> crying and, you know, this has been 10 years of my life, guys, so it's really frustrating and um, to know that I feel validated from about two and a half to three months out knowing that there was something wrong, something wasn't right. And nobody listening to me and now I know why like I could kind of explain it but I would have never thought it would have looked like that um, I'm happy about that since Monday I've gone through you know the steps of grief basically being sad to being mad <clears throat> and then learning just basically how to cope from here on out so with this um, it is through the military, um, and I have no choice but to go through their bariatric program. Their bariatric program consists of three visits with a dietitian or a nutritionist, five support groups, you can only do one in a week, um, a bunch of blood work, which I've done. I may have to get another endoscopy. I may have to do a sleep study, and then I have to go see an exercise physiologist at least once. <coughs> So I have everything that I possibly can do myself planned out. I should be done with most everything by the end of December. Um, yeah, I met with a nutritionist already. I met with her on Wednesday. Really liked her. She was down to earth. Uh, she didn't tell you crazy stuff to do. Um, she suggested uh, instead of me giving Maisie some of my Quest Bar, because Maisie loves Quest Bars, um, I bought these little kids bars that I can give her one while I'm eating mine and I did that today and it actually really worked so I was like cool she did not give me a diet she would not even come close to giving me a diet um, she said they just don't work that way they like to see the trend of what you eat and see where you can improve it um, I took her a diary of my food for about four days um, she told me that I'm doing really good at getting protein at every meal um, she knows that I'm an experienced bariatric patient, so we talked about things that I wanted to talk about, like feeding my daughter, making sure she doesn't feel deprived, because if I don't, if I am not supposed to have it, that it doesn't mean she can't have it, um, which I thought was really good um, advice. So I have another appointment scheduled with her, and tomorrow I'm going to go to my first support meeting uh, or group meeting or whatever. It's at 11 o'clock, and I don't know if I'm allowed to take my kid or not, but I'm taking her because I want to get my all my stuff done as much as I can before I leave um, to go on vacation at Christmas. 
So that is that. I will. I have done really good about not crying today. Um, because it is an extremely emotional thing. Um, I have had two ladies find me through my YouTube videos recently um, with similar situations. I don't know if, you know, the, my my uh, swallow tests and stuff are brand spanking new, so that's what I'm working with. But I know one lady's having surgery November 4th, and it's because hers she has really bad reflux, and I don't know if they did a swallow test on her or not. But anyway, that's the update with me. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, again, I enjoyed meeting everybody at OH. I'm doing everything in my power to make sure that I can make uh, WSFA in Nashville unless something crazy occurs or happens. Um, I don't see why I will not be able to go. So I hope to see your faces there. Um, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.